I, Julesy, recently traveled to Boise, Idaho, a land many of us imagine is filled with white people and potatoes. But stick with me as Boise offers something that is definitely aligned with the integrity and cultural awareness of Smart Brown Girl. In honor of World Refugee Day, I traveled to Boise with the International Rescue Committee, met with members of the Congolese refugee community who through the IRC have been placed in Boise, and Megan is their point of contact via the IRC. There's a few misgivings about what the refugee resettlement process actually looks like. Like the pervasive idea that they get an abundance of handouts that's greater than what Americans themselves have access to. Our most intensive period of time that we work with clients is anywhere from three to eight months. Mm -hmm. um, but we provide services That's for really up to short. five. It's very short. People have to be self-sufficient and <laughs> oh on their feet God. at the latest at usually about seven months. We first met with Maria Mawacha, a young woman who with her family fled to Kenya and were then resettled in November of 2016 in Boise. Back in Congo, education is not like something that matters a lot. What seems like a dream can also have some downsides, especially if you're coming over as a young adult seeking to further your education. Back in Kenya, I left. I was in university. I was remaining with one year to graduate, but I had to come here. So like coming to Boise, like I have all my papers and they're telling me like, you have to start all over again. What mm -hmm. was your idea of America before you got here? Like, what did you think it was going to be like? When your friends go to US and on Facebook, you see them start posting pictures of themselves and you're like, this girl was just this other way, just the other month. And so I really wanted to come. And where do you work? I work at Walmart. I'm doing at the fabrics and craft department. Mm -hmm. So I interact with a lot of people and it's fun, but I hate the standing. What's your goal in America? Are you gonna stay in Boise? Back in Kenya, like I wanted like to help the ladies, mm -hmm. especially the young ladies. So I studied finance and my idea was I want to do finance because I want to have like a macro finance where I can be helping people yeah. with money, like little loans to start up their businesses. That's dope. I have a movement on YouTube called Smart Brown Girl. It's about defining your own success story in women of color. Wow. So you can be a smart brown girl. <laughs> glow up. It's called the glow up. You glow up. Yes. Oh, wow. All right, that's it. Since I came with all the questions, I asked Maria if she had any ask for me. She's a good person to follow. And of course, because eyebrows always on fleek, Maria asked that I show her how to do her eyebrows. Delighted to pass on the fleekage, even though I didn't have the right concealer for Maria's skin tone. And I'm about on par with your favorite Instagram MUA who can do their face, but not so much on others, might have given Maria two different eyebrow shapes. I mean, I was just giving her options. But mm -hmm. cultural exchange over beauty products is always fun, mm -hmm. and Maria was feeling herself just as she should. Okay, you can look at yourself again and see. Hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I feel so bad because the concealer is so far off, but you like it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. I was like nervous, like, oh my gosh. You look great. You. I look Thank great. you. I, I gave know. you two different eyebrows. It's so awesome. <laughs> Where Maria lives is one of the few apartment complexes willing to work with the refugee community. With a diverse array of children running around, one young man, Yamin, did not shy away from asking about our cameras and if he could snap a picture announcing he has a YouTube channel with his best friend, Henry. Do we want to be the singer? Yamin is a Syrian refugee and Henry's family is from the DRC. Not to age myself, but girl, I had no clue who Young Nigo was, but his music video is the bridge strengthen the friendship of Yamin and Henry. And it is so adorable. How are you? Imagine if you were coming to America as a refugee. What are the hurdles you have to overcome to integrate into American society? Can you find a job using the computer? And think about how integral the work of the IRC is. Who in job class knows of someone who got a job here in Boise? Refugees still have to immediately find work. They then have to become comfortable not just learning, but speaking English in the American context. So you stand up, you find a partner, you say, my name is, are you hiring? 
That's what the IRC helps to facilitate. She needs to say, are you <laughs> And what may seem as very simplistic lessons are highly important to the transitioning livelihood of refugees. Do you want to come? Oh. Hello. Hello. My name is Celestine. Hello, Estienne. Yeah. Are you hiring? I am hiring. May I have a job application? You may have a job application. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow. Thank you. Hey, hey. How, oh, you already started cooking? <laughs> I'll give you a hug. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> Ka Kina, I love that name, is another recent mm -hmm. immigrant coming to America last fall with her family from a refugee camp in Zambia. This time, the cultural exchange was over a traditional Congolese meal because Kakina enjoys showing her love by cooking for her family and friends. It's very important for me to eat the food which I know mm -hmm. and which I see that this is healthy for me. Yeah, and for my family. We had fresh tilapia, cassava leaves, and ugali. This is